Hey guys, so today I am actually here to show you guys how I shave my hair or how I cut my hair, shave my head, whatever you want to call it. I'm excited to show you guys this because, um, you know, when I was looking, I couldn't find anything for myself and that's kind of, that, that kind of helps me to create for you guys. So, you know, um, yeah enjoy with me so here i'm combing out my hair these are the clippers that i use i really really love them they get as low as i want um, i really wanted to just have no hair around my head my hair is so thick um these are the other clippers i use for the top so if you see you will realize that i have more hair at the top um, than at the bald bottom so i will link those clippers below as well so that you guys can get them because i really like them like why not and i got them both from amazon um, so I'll link them down below in the description box. So here I'm holding the top hairs so that they don't get caught in the clipper and I'm able to kind of navigate because um, obviously I can't see the back of my head when I'm doing this. So I just want to make sure that I am not catching my actual hairs, which I have faux locks in right now. Um, I've been thinking about growing locks again, but that's neither here nor there. That's an entire other video that I gotta do I'm really thinking about it or um, I might even reattach my old ones I'm not too sure just yet because I'm thinking about hair and energy and all of that so let me know down below in the comments what do you think should I should I should I go for it again should I reattach or should I um, should I reattach my locks or should I just start fresh? Let me know what you think down below. So I just wanna make sure I get all of that to the same level and the guard helps you to get it to the same level. So before I used to be nervous, but um, you know, I'm pretty confident about cutting my own hair now and I don't always have time to go to the barber. So this really, actually I have not found a barber in Dallas, um, but I was cutting my hair since before I left New York City. Um, for myself, I went to the barber like two times and then after that I started cutting it for myself because I just hate waiting Which is why I started doing my hair for myself um, in the first place. So Yeah um, Make sure that you have a mirror so that you're able to see the back of your head So I'm looking into another mirror which you may not you can kind of see it behind me but I'm making sure that I'm able to see the back of my head so that I know um, what I'm doing. So although I'm using my fingers to feel around, I also wanna see what I'm doing back there. So my hair is a bit dry, so don't mind that. Um, you know, I'm just getting fresh right now with you guys. So I'm taking my other clippers. So these are the clippers that I use to take everything completely off. Um, you know, I'm all about ease and I was just dealing with too much hair. My hair is very, very thick and I have a lot of hair on my head. <laughs> and um, because I'm growing my business right now, I'm just not able to spend as much time I, as I would like, you know, doing twist outs and wash days and all of that good stuff. So I don't know how long I'm gonna keep my hair like this, um, but I've been really, really enjoying it. And it just fits my unique style and personality. So I make sure that I'm getting it down. Now here it might look it's a little scary, like I'm cutting myself. No, I'm definitely not. Um, these clippers are pretty safe. I used to be scared, like I said before, but now I'm just comfortable with cutting and it doesn't. The only thing is that sometimes if someone else is cutting your hair for you or helping you, these do tend to get a little hot. So, um, you know, you can just take breaks in between and leave it to cool, but it's perfect for the amount of baldness that, that I like. Like I said, my hair is dry. Um, so just please excuse me. But what I'm wanting to do here is just making sure that I get everything as even as I by myself can possibly get it, <laughs> right? So I'm trying to make sure that everything is, or that strip above is like the same size. I do have that strip above because um, I didn't cut my hair straight in the first place. Um, and I could, I could do it, but I, I kind of like that barrier, you know, it just looks so neat to me. Um, so I just left it like that and I really like it. So I kind of maintain that mark around before my hair starts. Um, so because I don't use lots of oils and grease and stuff in my hair, it looks dry. Now, especially since the razor is hitting it, it 
tends to look really dry so please don't mind it like I said before but heading to the back we have the mirror that we're using and so I'm looking into the back of my head and I'll show you a better shot of that pretty soon but this really helps to just um you know you can get a better and I, I my dominant hand is my right hand so I use my right hand to do most of the back and then I take my left and um you know transfer over to using my left hand like when I'm done with most of it since my right hand is my stronger hand and my more dominant hand so I take my time and you're tapping lightly with this so you don't have to drag this because you don't want to cut yourself or damage your scalp or skin so I'm tapping it lightly. I do have a dent at the back of my head. So I take my time and go over that so I don't have a patch of hair under <laughs> under that part of my head because who would want um, hair back there? So I take my time and I do all of that before I really mark the top, right? So I take off the bottom first so that I'm comfortable with the, the neatness back there and then I go higher and higher up and make sure that I get that line exactly um, where I want it. <laughs> I make the funniest faces when I'm focused, but this is just me really, um, you know, evening off everything. And like I said, I'm not going for perfection. I'm not a professional. Um, I just do what works for me and what is, you know, what looks good to me. So I take my time right here and just try to get that line as straight as possible. And, um, you know, I go in make sure that I'm happy with what I see or what I like. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. That is pretty much it. Just go in, keep it neat, keep it cute. Like I said, just tap on that line to keep it straight um, and make sure that you're angling your clipper in the right way and that you're cleaning off everything. So that's what I'm doing there. Just making sure that I ha I'm cleaning off everything so that I do have a straight line. Uh, make sure and get some alcohol to clean up the, the um, hairs and to make sure that you're not that just you're just sanitizing your head and get in there because our scalp gets dirty too just like the rest of our skin so you know make sure you clean yourself um, properly or clean off properly and I just decided to just take this time and get all up in there get your neck get your back and you want to get all of those hairs off of you as well um, usually I use a brush as well to do this part but you know, we gonna just rock out with what we rocking out with right now. And then, yeah, so you're done. Make sure that you have no hairs, no patches, no anything. Make sure you're all smooth. And then you can take some oil um, and just go over your scalp so that it's not dry because we don't want that. So I'm going to retwist my hair now. So I'm all retwisted here. Um, my hair is braided up, like I said, so I can just tie it up and go because I'm pretty busy um, with my business. Be sure to check out my business channel. I will link that below as well if you're interested in working full time for yourself. I share a few tips and tricks on how you can use video to do that.